Welcome to the University of Minnesota Duluth. Today we'll take a quick walk through campus and show you the how, why, and especially where UMD Bulldogs get it done. Are you ready? Let's go. Kirby Student Center is home to the newly remodeled Kirby Student Lounge, where UMD students gather to talk, study, and relax. The first floor includes the welcome desk, as well as the offices of many student organizations, from UMD's Greek Life to UMD's student paper, the Statesman. Located on the second floor of the Kirby Student Center is UMD's Multicultural Center. The MC supports programs as well as promoting appreciation and awareness of an inclusive community. It houses 13 student organizations and any UMD student can be a member. The library has four floors, 750,000 volumes, 206,000 ebooks, and 55,000 e-periodicals. The best part? The library has access to all five U of M schools libraries, the intern library alone. Some of the library's most used resources are the Writer's Workshop, which provides one-on-one -on -one help for anyone looking to become a better writer, and the Learning Commons, where students can receive free tutoring by approximately 100 peer tutors. The UMD Sports and Health Center features an indoor ice rink, an indoor track, six-lane pool, two indoor climbing walls, gymnasium, and group fitness classes. The Leibovitz School of Business and Economics building is the hub for business majors at UMD. Speaking of business, our Wells Fargo Financial Markets Lab, students have built and maintained a fund of more than $1 million called the Bulldog Fund, LLC. Not bad for a scrappy band of Bulldogs. The Swenson Science Building is one of several architectural marvels here on campus. And it's also home to several majors that reside within the Swenson College of Science and Engineering. The spiral staircase casts the shadow of a double helix. And get this, Swenson is built so that from the outside, the building resembles a ship coming into harbor. It's also another favorite place to study and gather on campus. We're in Ordeen Court, also known as the Arts Triangle. Behind me we have the Marsh Performing Arts Center, where we have six stage productions every year. Over there, we have the famed Weber Music Hall. And on my right, we have the Tweed Museum of Art. Grabbing a quick bite to eat is super easy at UMD. With our newly renovated state-of-the-art student dining center, there's tons of awesome options, including fresh fruit, make-and-take sandwiches, and get this, even a Mongolian grill. Not to mention a full food court, a coffee shop, and a sit-in restaurant. One of the buildings that houses our College of Education and Human Service Professions, Bohannon Hall has one of the largest lecture halls here on campus. However, 83% of classes here at UMD do have 50 or fewer students. Gina Hall is home to a number of departments including many College of Liberal Arts majors, along with the Department of American Indian Studies, two major centers, the Center for Crime and Justice Studies, and the Center for Social Research also reside there. China is located in between the Tweed Museum and Kirby Plaza. A variety of furnished housing options are available at UMD to suit different lifestyles and needs of students. About 1,800 students live in UMD's traditional residence halls, and another 1,100 live in the on-campus apartment-style units. So there's some here for just about everyone. You can rent all types of equipment, such as canoes, bikes, ice skates, kickball sets, and more. 
Pulaski Stadium, Griggs Field, home of UMD football, soccer, and track and field, and numerous intramural sports. Athletic events at UMD are super fun. Whether it's a game here at Pulaski Stadium, a hockey game down at Amsler Arena, or men's and women's basketball or volleyball at Murano Gym, it's always a great time. UMD is located in one of the coolest towns in the Midwest, Duluth. Lake Superior is just a few blocks away from campus. There's miles of bike trails and shoreline just outside of the city. And we have a nightlife that rivals much larger cities. Yeah, we have it pretty good here. Thanks for walking along with us as we've shown you the ins and outs, ups and downs, and lefts and rights of the University of Minnesota Duluth. There's a lot going on here, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Come see us in person. We'd love to show you around.